All right, so we're back with some more iPhone tips and tricks. Actually, this is a follow-up because I had a friend from South Carolina named Corey. Him and his wife called me last night, and they said they was having an issue with the voice control. They say, even though you know it's cool, you know, scrolling with just your voice, not using your finger, but they say throughout the day when they're talking or trying to text, the text is texting by itself because it's listening to their voice, so they have to go in there and turn it off. You don't have to go back in there into your settings to turn it off. I'm about to show y'all how to do that, man. It's real quick and simple, short video. Let's get to it. Y'all bring it in. Okay, we're already in my settings. You can see my voice control is already on. If you look at the icon next to voice control, you'll see the blue box with the white lines. If you pay attention to the time up top, right next to it, you'll see the same blue icon with the white lines. That means your voice control is on. Instead of coming all the way back to your settings to turn off your voice control, you can use the shortcut. You can say, stop listening. And you see the icon up top just turned gray. That means your voice control is off. Now to turn it back on, you would say, start listening. Um, start listening. There we go. And it turns right back on. Sometimes it's hard headed, but you know, you just got to go into motion. Now, if you want to completely turn it off, you can say, hey, Siri. Mm -hmm. Turn off voice control. Okay. I turned voice control off. Now your voice control is completely off. Those are the couple ways you can do that, y'all. Steady going back through the whole process again. Y'all thank me later. I'm out.